girl, you better sit down real close because what I'm about to tell you you're, is gonna have you shook. Do you have anything to drink? You might wanna grab it because you're about to sip all the tea in the world. Hey girls and guys, this is Sarah from Sai Let's Play and we are back and I'm not here with my best friend and to be honest, I miss her so much. You guys know there's been so much drama in my life with my mom at the moment. Uh, I've been talking to this guy at school and he's just a friend but she's convinced that I'm gonna like, he's gonna become my boyfriend and I'm gonna get married while in high school or something. It's like, mom, chill, I'm not, he's just a friend. So I really need someone to talk to and now that I moved so far away from my best friend I have no one to talk to so I know it's bad to lie to your parents but I've got to do it if not I'm gonna end up going crazy in this house so here we go time to put my plan into action so that I could be reunited with my best friend let's see where my mom is <clears throat> time to put on my sweet innocent voice <clears throat> mom Mom, where are you? Oh, hi, Mom. <laughs> Just watching TV, watching The Real Housewives of whatever, of Robloxio or something. Hi, darling. Um, so uh, I wanted to ask you if it was okay if I went out today. I um, I heard that the library is having. Uh, 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 oh, quiet. Sorry, sorry. Uh, oh, out. What? What? Who's out? Uh, you, am I not allowed to talk to you right now? Mom gets real feisty when she's watching TV. Um, sorry to bother you. I was just thinking, oh, about me going out. <laughs> Are you feeling okay? Um, uh, yeah, Mom, I'm feeling perfectly okay. So uh, the library is having a book fair, and I thought since, you know, you are having, like, me homeschooled now, it would be a chance for me to go get some books and stuff for the whole homeschooling thing. <laughs> Why are you so flustered? Oh, it's just, uh, I just didn't get a lot of sleep last night, you know? It's been really hard for me to adjust to finding out that I'm gonna be homeschooled. But you know, I love reading and books and knowledge and education. So I was thinking I could come back with loads of books and stuff, math, science, history, all those kind of good educational books. Mm -hmm. Astronomy, astrology meteorology all the ologies all the ologies are so good <laughs> right and i mean you're so smart you could surely teach me about all of these things yourself so it's perfect it's a win-win well you need to be back before 12 so we can start our lessons okay mom i will make sure i am back on time i love you i'll be right back and i'll have my phone with me so if you need to like get in contact with me you know you could just call me up i'm like hey mama you know just reading books <laughs> okay love you mom i'll see you when i get back okay bye <laughs> make sure you show me the books oh yeah i will definitely show you all the knowledge books <laughs> yeah all right love you mom i'll be back i'll be back before 12 i promise <laughs> She actually fell for it. Oh my gosh. Oh, she fell for it. Okay, so now here's the problem. My phone doesn't actually have any connection. It only allows me to text my mom and that's it because she blocked my internet and all that good stuff. So I actually have no way to like get in contact with Jess. But it's the weekend and we all know where Jess is on the weekend so let me go try my luck and see if she's there guys guess who i'm with right now look who's back oh my gosh jess we all missed you so much whoever thought i could miss someone so much in my whole entire life hey oh my gosh there is so much we need to catch up on especially after we've done so much shopping i can't believe i lied to my mom to be here with you and i knew i could find you at the mall let's be honest you're always at the mall but i don't appreciate you making me carry all your bags either all right i'm not here to be your little shopping assistant okay <laughs> living my best life yes you are okay because you're boring now oh wow don't be trying to act like you didn't miss me you know you miss me too let's be honest you got no friends at school besides me <laughs> which brings me to my next point how about we do some shopping and then I've got to tell you about something that happened at school. 
the reason why I really needed to come see you is because I needed to talk to you desperately about what's been going on in my life. So let's, ooh, this is a cute shop. Oh, they're closed already. Okay, so let's see. Oh, this one's open over here. Let's check it out. Ooh, they've got like dark and mysterious clothing. I like it. All right. Whoa, they've got some nice outfits here. Not really my cup of tea, but I'm pretty sure you would love them. What are you? Like, look at this one here. This is cute, Jess. Look at this outfit right here. Look, look at this one. This little yellow one right here. That is cute. You would totally slay that. You should try it on. Okay, can I try it on? Even though I can't take none of this stuff back with me because my mom will kill me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try some of it on. Let's see. Um, Let me check my shopping cart. Let's try on these items. Oh, look. What do you think? That's cute, isn't it? Oh, look at me. Oh, my gosh. Jess, you need to buy that outfit. It is so cute on you, girl. You slay. Can you twirl for me? Twirl for me, girl. <laughs> Why are you being so nice? Because I miss you so much, Jess. I mean, you drive me crazy. But I'm starting to realize lots of people drive me crazy. But, like, I missed you. You usually say, I can't wear things like this because it's nasty. Well, it is kind of nasty because, you know. Oh, oh, yeah, they're a little too short, girl. Maybe they are nasty. Okay, take them off. Don't wear that. Put something else on because they are nasty. Like, I'm trying to be nice to my best friend because I missed her. <gasps> cute too well you know it is winter time like you might want to buy something that covers you up a little bit more because it's gonna be cold out here you know you're gonna be feeling that breeze okay that's really cute come on let's go check out the other shops and see oh that one's closed oh there's one open down here and they seem to have really cute stuff you want to try that on come on look it's down here right down here and then we need to sit down. When we go get some food, me and you need to talk. We need to gossip. We need to we need to chit chat about what's been going on in my life. Okay. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. This is cute. I mean, it's a little basic, but that's cute. You know, sometimes you just need a basic top and some basic bottoms. <laughs> okay. Um. I guess we could check the bottom floor, and if there's nothing there, we. Oh, there's a bird. Oh no, I don't mess with birds. Call, call away, Jess. Where'd you go? Come on. Let's go over here. By the way, I hope you know I can't take none of this stuff home with me because my mom doesn't know I'm here. But I'll get into that in a bit. Don't worry. Okay, let's go down here and see. What? Yes, uh, it's a long story. Let's not worry about it right now. Let's just not be stressed out. Have fun shopping and stuff. And then I'll tell you all about my life. Are you going to get me in trouble? Do I ever get you in trouble? She already hates me. Oh, trust me, she still hates you. <laughs> she just doesn't know I'm here with you. <laughs> All right, let's try this one. Ooh, that's cute. <gasps> that is a really cute top, but you know, it's, it's a, that's only like you only wear that to the beach, really. You don't want to wear that out. Jess, put on a shirt, you nasty. Oh my gosh. What's wrong with you? Put on, put on something else. Ooh, that's cute. I'm going to add that to my shopping cart. Let's try that on. Okay, let's try this one. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a cute outfit. Look. Okay, you need to put on some clothes, girl. You can't be walking around like that, you nasty. All right? What is wrong with you? This is why my mom didn't want me to hang out with you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's a lot better. At least you're wearing clothes now. All right. So let's see. Um... We could check a couple more down here, and then I guess we could go grab some food because I'm getting kind of hungry, to be honest. So let's go. <gasps> Jess, am I going crazy? Look, there's dolphins. I'm cold. Of course you're cold because you're walking around in underwear, basically. <laughs> all right, so I think all the other shops are closed. Oh, not the one down here. The one down here is open as well. So this is like the last door. Ooh, okay. They got some little cute like Christmassy outfits okay you know you're getting ready for Christmas let me try on this one. Oh, girl <laughs> look at this yes I'm over here like Mrs. Claus all right so are we done shopping you think we're good I think so all right so why don't we go grab some food are you okay with that we could go grab some fast food or something and then I could tell you about my life 
I gotta tell you about a boy. I never thought I would have boy drama, but Jess, things have changed. I got boy drama. Ooh, that's a cute outfit. Okay, let's go. All right, now that we have our food, um, let's go grab a table. Luckily, there's no one here. I'm trying to think. Let's go to the books over here, even though it's just the two of us. <laughs> All right, girl, you better sit down real close because what I'm about to tell you you're, is going to have you shook. Okay. <laughs> Do you have anything to drink? You might want to grab it because you're about to sip all the tea in the world. So basically, I had to lie to my mom uh, to get her to let me out the house because you won't believe it, but she's homeschooling me now. Legit homeschooling me. Wow, wow is right. Wow is even more right, girl. But let me tell you why she's homeschooling me. You won't believe it. So, you know, first day of school, I was really nervous because you weren't there and stuff. So um, I was just minding my own business. And then like the cutest guy ever came up to me and he's like, hey, do you want me to show you around new school? And I was like, uh, uh, and you know me, I was a stuttering mess. I couldn't like, I was just tripping over my words. I didn't know what to say. I was freaking out, kind of like I'm freaking out right now. A guy was talking to you? Yes, a guy was talking to me. He was talking to me, and then he walked me home. And my mom saw. And my mom saw this guy walking me home, and she freaked out, thinking he was my boyfriend. And now she's like, you're being homeschooled. She's just, oh, I don't even know what to do. But you're not interested in guys. Do you like him? No, I, well, I mean, he is cute, but he's just a friend. He was a nice guy. He's cute, you know, but like, you know me, education comes first. This is why I don't understand why my mom was freaking out over nothing. Why don't you tell me? Well, I am telling you, look, as soon as this happened, I tried to get in contact with you, but I couldn't. So I'm here now and I'm telling you, I don't know what to do. Cause he, oh, oh, I forgot to tell you. <gasps> oh, well, if you don't like him, maybe I can date him if he's cute. No, Jess, you can't date him. Okay, that's like breaking girl code. He, no. Why no? Because he's my friend. Okay, I mean, it's just, it would be weird, okay? We don't like him. Yeah, but you don't even know him. We don't even go to the same school. And I don't have his name or his number. Well, I know his name, but I don't have his number. And I'm not gonna see him anymore. You like him. No, I don't like him. He's a friend. He was a really nice guy. Oh, and he, well, he asked me out on a date. Well, it wasn't a real date, actually. He um asked me out, and I got confused and thought he was asking me out on a date. So I, I was, like, freaking out. I was like, no, I don't like you like that. And then it turned out he was just asking me out as a friend. <laughs> Story of my life. A date? Oh, my gosh. Well, he said that I want to go to the movies with him. And when I said no because I didn't want to date him, he was like, oh, just as a friend. He friends on me. So he friends on you? No, he friends on Well, I kind of did. And then he was like, yeah, we're just friends. I didn't mean it like that. I was like, oh, okay then. So, um, yeah, that's my life ever since you weren't in it anymore. I want to meet him. No, I'm keeping you as far away from him as possible. Because the next thing you know is that you guys will be together getting married or something. He might like me. Yeah, probably because you're cute or whatever. But, you know, uh, I don't know what to do. Because what if I run into him again? He knows where I live, Jess. He's going to show up at my house. He even asked to meet my mom. He was like, let me meet your mom. She'll like me. And I was like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Just ignore your mom. You try to ignore my mom. You've seen her. You can't ignore her. That's not a possibility. So what should I do if he shows up at my house again? Or if I run into him at the park? What do I say, Jess? You should see me. I'm a hot mess. I can't handle this. I have a hard enough talking to humans in general, let alone someone that's cute. I freak out every time. I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, but I guess it doesn't even matter anymore. I'm getting homeschooled. Now I just got to convince my mom to let me go back to our old high school. I have no idea what you're saying, but that creepy smile at the end, I just had, I, I know it's not good. You probably be nasty, aren't you? Mm-hmm. You probably are. No, you are. I could tell. Look, now... It doesn't matter. I'm not going to see him again. Uh, I need to convince my mom to let me go back to our old high school so me and you could be reunited. And I have a plan for that as well. <gasps> oh my gosh. Jess, it's 1130. 
It's 11.30. My mom told me to be home at 12. If I'm not back home on time, my mom is going to kill me. She's going to send out police helicopters looking for me everywhere. I need to go. Don't go home. I need to go home. Are you crazy? And I need to go grab the books because I thought that I was going to the science fair. Look, uh, let's go to that boy's house. No, are you dumb? We're not going to his house. He's going to think we've got a creepy stalker. We are not going to his house. Okay? Come on. Ugh, Jess. Fine. Okay, no, no, no. I'm not listening to you. You're going to get me in trouble. Look, here is what we're going to do, all right? I'm going to go home. I'm going to go to the science fair, buy whatever books I find, going to take them to my mom. She's going to believe me. And we're going to agree to meet here again so we could talk and figure things out, okay? Please, do not show up to my house and do not try to find out who that boy is, okay? It is none of your business. Well, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. Okay, what are you going to do? This isn't going to be good, is it? This is not going to be good at all. I'm going to... You're going to find him. No, 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 no. You don't even... I'm not telling you his name. I am not telling you his name. You are not going to look for him, okay? You stay away from him, all right? He's a nice guy. I don't want you tainting him. <laughs> <laughs> all right Jess I really really gotta go if not my mom is gonna kill me I need to run literally I don't even know how I'm gonna get home on time how am I gonna do this oh I'll tell her there was a long line at this at the book fair or something I don't know text me I can't text you my mom blocked your number uh, we'll figure something out okay I will let you know I'll send a bird with a note or something unblock it I don't know how okay before I go just show me how okay just show me how. But anyway, you guys, I've got to end it here. Because Jess has to unblock my phone. i got to run to the book fair, buy some books, go home, and figure everything out. I have a spare phone. Take it. <gasps> okay. All right. All right. Now I'm going to take Jess's phone. We've got this all planned out. All right. Thank you, Jess. All right. So I've got to go, you guys. I hope you guys have fun watching. And I'll see you guys next time. And I'll let you know what happens. Oh, my gosh. Bye, everyone.